good morning 5 a.m start let me tell you not by choice half an hour ago half four in the morning i'm in my bed you can hear trucks outside i'm thinking bin men then i start hearing the loudest like pew, 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 bangs maybe i've heard this four times i'm thinking god there must really be something stuck in the bottom of that bin that the bin men are really trying to get out like i'm picturing them hammering a big bin off the side of their truck trying to get something at the bottom and then i hear like radios so i peel back my curtain fire trucks fire trucks everywhere outside blue lights flashing i have never felt panic like that talk about fight or flight firemen all went all in the hallway they are pounding trying to get into the flat downstairs don't know what the fuck happened they're clearly not in so they were the banging was them trying to open the door why did i think it was the bin men i don't know what happened but god knows i am not going back to sleep so we are starting the day at five in the morning today they're thinking coffee shop because black sheep coffee opens at five in the morning every day or i go to my food shop i can't go to my food shop oh also got a work phone for everyone always asking what i vlog on it was my iphone 12 now it's an iPhone 13. My finest outfit? No. But it'll do for the streets of Edinburgh at five in the morning. Decided against doing my big food shop because I like Lidl and Lidl's not open at this time. I'm gonna go to Black Sheep Coffee. Because trust Black Sheep Coffee is. Trust you can get a Black Sheep Coffee from half five in the morning. So I'm gonna take a nice leisurely stroll to Black Sheep Coffee. I'm gonna listen to emergency intercom and walk there and eat a lemon muffin, actually, I have lemon muffins. I've never seen Edinburgh this quiet in the summer. It's beautiful. And actually, a really nice sunrise. Can you imagine if it had been a really rainy day? Talk about seize the day. I'm gonna go work in Black Sheep Coffee. I have lots of work anyway, I need to research a podcast episode, got internship work, why not start it right now? I'm quite excited. I forgot that on Mondays in Black Sheep Coffee, all the coffees are £2 for students. So this whole thing is two pounds, which is quite decent. Also, because it's pretty shit, like it's not that great. But I'll take it. I'll pay two pounds to be anywhere but my flat right now. here but now there's literally a thunder and lightning storm this day is so cursed <laughs> i was walking back it's actually eight in the morning <laughs> but like i'm having a great day actually but like the day is a little bit cursed um restock the fridge with me this is when i need to take out everything that's out of date and restock on the plant milk update because i've been trying all the root health plant milks because they sent me every single one hazelnut 10 out of 10 next one to try is coconut I'll keep you updated on that one. <laughs> Gluten free bread. Oh my god, these. These are magnificent. The true food. They're like frozen fruit that are like covered in chocolate. Phenomenal. Gorge. Okay. Chicken breast. I'm going to make some like Moroccan chicken couscous bowl tonight. And for lunch, love the hexosages. 
They're like the chicken sausages. These are divine. And then in the Moroccan couscousy bowl, obviously I'm just going to buy some TikTok recipe, but I'm just kind of making it up. Got some sun-dried tomatoes, pomegranate, cherry tomatoes just because I eat them anyway. Courgette, love courgette. Got some salad, onions, and pepper. Gorgeous. It's literally half nine in the morning. I'm having lunch. I am starving. <laughs> Let me play it up and I'll show you. This is looking quite full. <laughs> Chicken sausages, tomatoes, and salad, but it's kind of falling apart. I might put balsamic glaze on that. Look how good that looks. It's actually such a good looking sandwich. Literally, in my last vlog, most of my last vlog was like me eating on the floor because I was just a busy gal, that's really all I was filming. <laughs> Which I'm so surprised, first of all, that that vlog is getting views because I think that vlog is terrible. What I noticed when I was watching, like editing back the footage of me eating was like, I play with my food so weird. I was eating apple slices on like one of the clips and I playing about with them. What else was I eating? I was eating carrots as well at one point. Picking them up and down, throwing them about. I don't know what I do with my food. Someone literally picked up on it in the comments. Like, they weren't being mean. I think they were just curious, the same way I was curious. They were like, what are you doing with your food? Girl, I don't know either. Vlogging makes you notice, like, little things like that about yourself that you otherwise would just never know. This is today's outfit. I got this skirt in a charity shop yesterday. But it's, like, comically... Comically high-waisted. But the charity shop didn't have fit rooms, so... I think I can just only wear it with a long top. Also got original One Direction merch at Charity Shop. Like 2014 band t-shirt from their tour for £3.50. And got just a white oversized t-shirt, which I thought would look really nice with a skirt. But I don't want to wear this till it's been washed. I'm annoyed with One Direction merch top. Where the fuck is that? Guys, I must have left that in my family home. But, but this is really cool. because I will be going to bed at like 4 p.m. today. I accidentally put too much water in the couscous so it looks a bit mushy, but salad, couscous, just random shit in there. Chicken goujons because I opened up the chicken packet that I got like this morning that I showed. I did not like the smell and it's just not worth risking it. Had these in the freezer, little gluten-free chicken goujons and they're delicious, gorgeous, all gluten-free. The exhibition I was at that I actually came out of and then bumped into my friend who was also at the exhibition didn't even know we were both one. It was so good. It's like a feminist exhibition. There was loads about like lesbians during the AIDS epidemic. Loads about like women advocating for a wage for being like full-time housewives. Um, about like childcare, but like childcare not being accessible, like it being a class issue. Cause like the rich mothers could afford nannies and au pairs and nurseries just like weren't as big a thing. I didn't know any of this. So interesting, it's at the Modern Gallery of Art, no, National Gallery of Modern Art. Got two work calls this afternoon and then I'll be going to bed. Vile. Especially in the green mug. That is given swamp water. It doesn't taste bad though, it actually tastes nice. I think the 0 0.5 on my new phone is maybe wider. I feel like you don't normally see this much of my room. Also, the quality from like all the clips before this might be quite shit because I didn't realise I needed to like adjust the settings on my phone. So I was filming in like low quality iPhone mode. Because a lot of people messaged me actually and they asked me like what I film with because I think most people assume that I film with a camera. This girl. iPhone in a shitty Amazon tripod. Wait, what time is it? 
is 9.03. I was out last night. Not out, out. I was out for drinks last night. Feel kind of hungover. I think I had like four drinks. Three gins and a wine. Why do I feel a bit hungover? It's two days since my last vlog. Like we skipped a day. Because yesterday I was just working. Do you want to know what I'm up to today? Three seconds to guess like what they do in Kahoot. You'll never guess. Radio. Radio. My friend works at the BBC. She's a researcher at the BBC. I don't know if she comes up with the topics they're going to talk about on the radio, but she has to like find people to come on and talk about them. And she messaged me the other day and she was like, girl, like you'd be perfect for this segment that I'm doing on the radio. Is this nepotism in radio? Slightly. She was like, you'd be perfect for this. Like, can you come on and talk about it? I actually am perfect for it though, because they were looking for a content creator to talk about like fake news and misinformation online. I said, of course I will. I said, give me your producer's number right now. Like, I'll do that. Um, no, I actually was like, I'm not sure. Like, I'm not sure. Like, I'm going to sound articulate enough. At 10 a.m., we'll be getting a call to set up for radio. Just doing it on Zoom, which is cool. Just did that radio segment. That was the most nerve wracking thing I've ever done in my life. That was harrowing, that was horrifying. I firstly can't even listen to it back. Um, not horrifying in a bad way, like that was fun, but like that was so nerve wracking. And they had two like scholars on before me. They had the, they had the Strathclyde University lecturer in there talking about it like from an obviously really professional point of view. I didn't even say, we're talking about like fake news online. We're talking about the spread of misinformation online which is so relevant to me because I make like an educational podcast. So that's why I was on. But they had like a scholar on before me. They had, I think it was, it was a doctor as well. And then I was like, oh, so now you just have to follow this with Zara. Zara content creator age 21. But I think I came across well, I came across articulate. I listened to it back there and I was like, who is that? That's not me, that's not me. The way I put on a customer service voice so much. Like I listened to that back and I was like, I tell you what, even if I absolutely bombed that, no one would know that was me because that sounds nothing like me. I'm making a chicken sausage sandwich. Can't wait. The same one I had the other day. The same one I'll probably eat for the next two weeks. One of the bars I was in last night. I don't even know if you can hear me over the air fryer, but one of the bars I was in last night in Leith had the George Foreman on the bar. George Foreman big toasting machine. I was shocked. They like genuinely a proper bar, but they just did like grilled cheese, like toasties, which first of all smelled great in the bar. Second of all, I just thought that was mad that you go up and order a drink and then they just like have the biggest George Foreman I've ever seen. Like this size George Foreman cooking up some grilled cheese toasties on the bar, which I just thought was really cool. Oh, sorry, that's my dad texts me. Let's see what he thought of the radio. He said, you came across well. Bloke went for the manifest stuff though. Yeah, this guy, like this doctor guy after on the radio literally came on and was like, there's so much misinformation online, on TikTok especially. There's so much stuff about manifesting and actually I'll give him it. I'll give him it. All these girls that are like, write this on under your pillow and your crush will text you. Cause I know that gets the girls. But I'm like, also, I don't believe anyone watches that and like actually with their whole being believes that's true. But when I say that, I think back to like 2020, when I was like 17, genuinely so not mentally well, had dropped out of school, was just existing during the week. And I was so deep into that. I had a manifest journal and the stuff I was writing in there is criminally insane to look back. It was like, you would write in it, like the manifest journal was basically you were to write diary entries about things as if they were true. So I was writing all about this like life that I had where I was like living in London and like friends with all these like, no, it's just embarrassing to think back, but like writing about all this stuff that wasn't true, but as if it was real. Like I'd be like, oh, I woke up today and I went here and I went here. As like, and I went to like my friend's flat. She didn't have a flat, we all lived at home. So maybe that guy had a point, but my dad said he came across articulate, so that's fine. This is the biggest sandwich I've ever seen in my life. And this is the perfect lunch. I managed to enter on in this sandwich. I'm having to rewatch really old episodes because I just, I'm always caught up. Hello, loves. I hope you can hear me over the air fryer. It's 
half eight at night. I'm fucking ravenous. So I thought we could cook together and catch up and I'll show you my groundbreaking couscous bowl that I've been making. I'm not even joking. Like four, maybe five people messaged me yesterday and were like, can you please give me this recipe? You're getting it here for free. Not that I charged the girls on Instagram. That sounded like that's what, that sounded like that's what I meant there. Chicken goujons are in the air fryer, getting cooked probably for double the amount of time they need to be to battle away any anxiety about food poisoning. So that will do. Also of all the veg, it's just equal quantities. I'm using gluten free couscous because yeah, there's fucking gluten in everything. Best believe there's gluten in couscous. Make your couscous as normal with vegetable stock. Then I'm putting all my veg in this sun dried tomato tub because it's going to soak up all that flavour. In there, adding sun dried tomatoes, red onion. I don't get like service at work. So when I come out of work and I open my phone, like all the messages come in at once or like any notifications. Me saying all the messages makes it sound like I get loads of messages. It's literally always my family group chat, my mum and my sister. But the first messages I did not expect to see come in four times. I don't know why they sent like four times. Um, was my sister being like Molly May and Tommy Fury have broke up. I'm not a Love Island fan. I'm not like, I'm not, I'm like the least PLT girl ever. But even I was a bit rocked by that. No, I was a bit speculate, but that's mean. We can't be doing that, but someone else's social life. But with the love to Molly May, I think she seems better off without that man. Not that people were really waiting on what's our love's update on her thoughts on the Molly May, Tommy Fury situation, but you know. Anyway, <laughs> other veg going in, raw courgette. I only ever tried raw courgette for the first time this week. I didn't know you could eat that raw, but this is a replacement to cucumber because I don't like cucumber. I just, that's just, no, I don't like it. It just tastes of nothing. That's purely a looks thing. I thought, well, that looks similar. I'll put that in. Then cherry tomatoes. Again, chopped small. I cannot express how hungry I am. I don't, I don't work well not eating all day at work. That doesn't, that doesn't work for me. I need a snack break. I think if my work incorporated a snack break in, every every two and a half hours or even just one in a five hour shift if i had a snack break my productivity would be through the roof i think i'd actually be better a better employee my productivity would be so much better because i wouldn't be standing there the whole time thinking about little snacks and no matter how much i eat before a shift it's never enough because you'd just be like zara eat more before a shift girls i'm eating i had all my protein chicken sausages and everything this morning I'm still starving during a shift. And then lastly, pomegranate seeds. Then we have the couscous. Stock cubes are salty. I salted this the first time I made it. That was a mistake. But I'm adding basil, all purpose seasoning, because I'm lazy. And olive oil, just like a cap. And that is Zara's super cool, super delicious hyperfixation. Kiss, kiss. How gorgeous is that? Like absolutely divine. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna go and eat this and watch Emergency Intercom and then work for the rest of the evening. I look absolutely gross. I've got internship work. I've got shit work. I'm gonna shit next week. I'm going to Brighton actually. Oh, I can talk about this. I forget I can talk about these things. I'm going to Brighton next week for a shoot, which is exciting. But I need to plan. I need to like make a PowerPoint plan, schedule, content plan, send that over. Hey best friends, live from my living room which is now my bedroom. That's the end of this 20 minute vlog of me chatting shit, which I forgot to end because I wasn't going to post this vlog until two lovely people came into my work and they said we love your YouTube videos and I said well I've got one sitting in the drafts which is pretty shit where I just eat couscous and chat shite for 20 minutes and they said post it so this vlog is for those two people Um, I actually am vlogging this week though and I'm actually doing exciting stuff this week sorry I'm getting distracted because basically I speak about this in the vlog that I'm filming this week which will be the next video there's a fucking mouse in my flat a mouse at the bottom and anytime I see a slight bit movement I get paranoid it's a mouse hence me moving into this room 
Anyway, thanks for watching this vlog. All the love to you if you're at the end because you really are a real. Sorry, I just ate loads of chocolate. You really are a real one if you've stayed to the end of the vlog. Um, but yeah, we'll catch you in the next vlog. Truly, like I'm just a busy girl at the moment, and a lot of the time when I'm free to vlog, it's because I'm cooking and I'm like in between jobs or things. So yeah, but all my love to you, and I'll see you soon. And uni goes back next week, so I actually will get a bit more like structure and life, normal life back to normal a bit. So the vlogs will be able to like return to normal a bit. I've just been a bit of here, there, and everywhere right now. Um, I actually watch this in London filming podcast episodes which will be on tiktok so if you want to see them i'm over there as well but yeah love you